Be careful what you wish for because, because it can become a reality. Yeah. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I had to come on here and chime in on this because this whole In A Way To America thing and with him responding to recent criticisms from guys like Sean Porter about not coming to the States, it's taking the, the boxing community by storm. And you guys know that... I've been I've been loyally covering Naoya Monster Inoue. Naoya Monster Inoue. Let me say his name right. Faithfully since 2016. I, I don't think anybody here in the States on YouTube has, has covered him quite as often as consistent as consistent as I have, right? So I feel like it's a responsibility to give my two my two cents on this. So recently, Sean Porter uh, was on the Pro Box uh podcast and he said that, you know. He wants to see Inoue come to the States because, you know, he can't become the biggest star in boxing without coming to the States, which really and truthfully, um, I, I believe that I think that's a true statement. I think in order for him to be the biggest star humanly possible, making it in America would go a long way for him. Right. I agree with that. But however, speaking of because a, a, a lot of people that I've heard commenting on this and I'm not trying to see here and say I'm better than anybody because I went to Japan. I'm not. You know, I was blessed to go there thanks to my viewers and whatnot that helped support the GoFundMe and, you know, um, God, God provided in a great way. But a lot of people that I've seen running their mouth about the, the draw that he isn't or they think he is or he isn't have never been to Japan and have they've never seen it with their own eyes what kind of star power the monster has in Japan. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and mind you, when I went there, it was, before, it was a couple of months before the Stephen Fulton fight. So I'm sure even since then it's gotten even bigger. But I would compare his star power in Japan to something like a, like a Tom Brady or like a... I would even say, maybe not, maybe not LeBron James, but like he, he's, a, he's pretty mainstream. I mean, nobody, nobody in Japan is bigger than Shohei Otani. But, but after Shohei Otani, he might, you know, he might just be the second or third biggest athlete coming out of Japan. He's, he's that damn popular over there. Um, he, he, he really, he literally is a walking billboard for Japanese boxing. And he, and he, and one thing about Inoue that I've always liked is he carries that responsibility very serious. Um, but anyway, Inoue, I don't want to waffle on, Inoue had a response to recent criticism of him not coming to America, which by the way, he has fought in America. He has fought a couple times in America, a couple times during, during the bubble. We'll get into that in a second. But here's what Inoue said verbatim. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to translate it and edit some of the things he said because, you know, Japanese to English doesn't translate the best sometimes. But here's what he said about those criticisms. He said he stated the following, and I quote, in response to the comments saying I should come to America and, have, and, and play a match there, the home of the lightweight division is now here in Japan. If you want to come see the game, but they mean fight, if you want to come see the fight, come to Japan. If there is something better than what is available in the Japanese market in America, I'll be happy to go. That's all worth it here in Japan. End quote from Naya Inoue. So look, he's telling you in play, you know, he's telling you in a, in, a, in a kind, polite Japanese way that if you want to make some money, you got to come get your passport ready, get them stamps, and go to Japan. And look, like I've said when the fight first got signed with Neri, He's about to headline at the Tokyo Dome, a baseball stadium, the biggest baseball stadium there is. Like, to put it in a term that American fans will understand, this would be like if Terrence Crawford had a, re uh, just had a regular title defense for the undisputed titles at Yankee Stadium, something like that. You know, are there any American fighters right now who could sell out Yankee Stadium? I'm not so sure. I don't think so. It hasn't been a fight, there hasn't been a fight at Yankee Stadium since Miguel Cotto versus Yuri Foreman. But... In a way, is 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 a walking billboard for Japanese boxing, and and so would, would I like to see him come to America? Yes. In the past, has it been a big deal, and has it really meant everything for foreign fighters to come to America and make a big name for themselves? Yes. But that's not really on his uh, immediate to do list because right now at one twenty two and one twenty six, there's not anybody yet who has emerged as a big of enough star to command that kind of money to to to, to fight here now. Another reason why I'm not going to get angry at Inoue, even though I would like to see him come fight in the States, another reason why I won't get angry about him is let's be real. 
he signed with Top Rank in, I think it was, was about 2019. And there were a couple of things that Top Rank needed to do to really maximize his value as an American draw. When And, and they did none of it. They did, they've done none of it at all. Um, I, you know, boxing him, particularly in LA, on the West Coast, in a big Asian American market would have been step number one. They did not do that. And they still haven't done it to this very day. So they dropped the ball there. Mind you, Top Rank paid um, four million for Lomachenko versus Tifima Lopez during the pandemic. They 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 pointed up all that money for that fight, and I, I like that fight. That was a, that was a fun fight. It's my highest viewed live fight reaction of all time. I love that fight. But they were too cheap to pay two million for what was going to be a big fight between Inoue and Casimiro, and they went with the cheaper option with Maloney instead. Right. So that's that's. That's just the long and the short of it. They, they, the top rank dropped the ball promoting in a way in America in so many different ways. I'm, I'm not even sure there's enough time in this video for it. Like Aaron Dippian, I mean, that was a fight that was a routine, stay busy fight. Aaron, the, the Aaron Dippian fight in 2021 wasn't even on American television. I couldn't even watch the fight here in America because top rank wouldn't even uh, cover his fight. So my thing is, not only, not only do I think he's got a point with, um, wanting to stay in Japan because that's the money is that's where you know the biggest events and the biggest money could be for him but I don't think Top Rank did any favors to make their case to keep him here in America so it takes two to tango yeah in a way it's all well and good for in a way to be signed to Top Rank and have the UST rights uh, with him and whatnot but they haven't really done the best by putting the best foot forward to try to make him a draw in the states you know what I'm saying so um listen man Anybody who wants to rip, rip, rip that throne from Inoue, I think, is going to have to go to Japan. It's just, it's just, there's just no two ways about it. And um, every now and then, guys, every now and then, there comes along a fighter. Yes, yes, there's rules and yes, there's like, like, there's norms in boxing. Like normally, a foreign fighter would have to come to America to make his name. But every now and then, there are exceptions to the rule. There, there, there happen to be things that fighters, athletes, people in life. That are exceptions to the rule. And I think Inoue is an exception to the rule of foreign fighters having to come to America to make the name for themselves. Um, why? Because, number one, I don't, there's never been a fighter from Japan this famous ever. Like, he's, he's getting more famous by the fights. Um, we know Japanese culture has a big foothold across the world with, 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 with anime and video games and fashion and all kinds of things. Him being a big fighter and a symbol of Japanese boxing, I think, could leak into other, other things. And I, and, I, and, I, and I feel, in a way, has limitless potential as a draw in boxing because he, he does ridiculous numbers at the gates down there in Japan. He's fighting the Tokyo Dome. Um, he's got Japan on his back. He's got Sky Sports in the UK constantly covering, uh, uh, um, carrying his fights. I mean, just think about it. Just, just hear me out for a second. When he fights Lewis Neri, he's going to have his fight televised here in America, one of the biggest boxing markets in the world. He's going to have his fight televised in Japan, one of the biggest boxing markets in the world. And he's going to have his fight televised in Mexico, one of the biggest boxing markets in the world. And he's going to have his fight tele uh, televised in the UK, one of the biggest boxing markets in the world. So look, in a way, I don't think there's ever been a fighter in the history of boxing to have his kind of star power and drawing power. That's not me being a fanboy. That's not being no dick rider. That's just me telling you guys the God's honest truth. As somebody who has really covered his career for the better part of almost almost a decade now. Um, he's he he's the guy. He around, around these ways. You thought you thought Canelo was a big deal. No, this guy is the big deal. This, this is actually one of the only guys in boxing because everybody everybody always asks me BT. They say oh. Who is the face of boxing? And I don't like to say that. I don't like to answer that question because I feel like right now boxing isn't mainstream enough to even have an answer to that question. I don't think it's Canelo. I think there's faces of boxing depending on what, what region you're talking about. But if there was a guy who I think is going to make a run, a big run at really sticking that flag on the ground and becoming the face of boxing, it's in a way because he's got Japanese culture behind him, which again is very influential throughout the world. Um, he's got the fact that his fights are on at a very interesting time here in the morning in the States, in the afternoon in the UK, um, you know, and he's got opponents from all different parts, all different types of countries to fight where he's going to continue to pull fans in for everywhere. So my thing is, 
there really is no ceiling on what he could do as a draw in the, in, 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 um, in boxing. And as far as him not coming to America, he's already fought here multiple times. And when an American promoter like Top Rank signed him, like I said, they dropped the ball in so many ways. It's not even funny. Being not, not paying for NOA Casemiro uh, when the pandemic was going on. Not boxing, not, not letting him fight in Asian American markets like New York or LA, not not pointing up the pointing up the money to do that. Um, you know, it's so much not televising one of his fights against Aaron Dippian. I mean, there's that. There's just so many things I, I I could go on and on and on and on about you know as far as what they didn't do for the monster and it's it's a shame. I mean, for Christ's sake, I've been saying it for the longest time ever since ever since Shohei Otani signed with the Dodgers. I've been I've been screaming from the mountaintops. Why don't Top Rain tank in a way to the Dodgers game? Get in contact, get on the phone with someone from the Dodgers and and have in a way throughout the ceremonial first pitch and then. Record him having a casual ass conversation with Shohei Otani and put it on the top ranked YouTube channel and pull fans in from the MLB, pull fans in from Japanese baseball because Jap baseball is the number one sport in Japan. Have we even seen that? No, we have not. So those are just those are just four four things top rank hasn't done. And so for those reasons, I have no problem with what he's saying. If you guys really think that you can beat in a way, go to Japan, knock his block off, and then you become the guy, you know? So I'm going to leave it at that. And, and, and God willing, you know, I hope one day it lines up to where I can go to an NOA fight one day because um, I do want to see him fight live at least once in Japan. It's on my bucket list. And um, you guys know I have a, a deep and profound love for the Japanese and their culture and the boxers that come there. And that's why I'm going there again in, a, in, in about four or five months. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure when yet, but in a, in a couple months, I'll be back in Japan for the second year in a row just because I love it so much and I love the people there and I love... In a way, and Ken Shiro, and, and Junto Nakatani, and Kento Hatanaka, and Kosai Tanaka, and the list goes on and on. Homura Fujita, just the list goes on and on of Japanese fighters that I'm a fan of. But yeah, those are my thoughts on In a Way's recent comments about you know not fighting in America. If, if, listen, the money is in Japan. The, the biggest fights are in Japan. Um, if you want that to change, then we're gonna need an American fighter to go over there and beat them, and then actually carry. Uh, you know himself as a dignified champion and build a coming star in America. That's that that that's how it's got to go. And top rank, top rank, top rank got to get it together. If top rank wanted him here, they should they should have been had it together promoting him when they first signed him. But they they didn't. They, in my opinion, they didn't quite recognize. They didn't realize fully what they had when they signed him, and that's why they pointed up four million dollars for Lomachenko. Who, by the way, Lomachenko's a, a fantastic fighter and all, nowhere near as good as Inoue, not even close. So that being said, those are my thoughts on the fight. Um, or his comments. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think in a way is, is being a diva? Do you think he should have to come to America? Or do you think he's got a point? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Cannonfield in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.